Well, hello guys, here Kenny Furness from Plan on Surrey Mystery and today in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how we can make a basic graphic design so before we go and jump to the Photoshop we gonna see a uh, sample design, graphic design so design inspiration inspiration so if you see some of the design over here it's gonna be great gonna be give you some idea how you can make uh, some graphic design so don't forget guys to check check out the picture on the Google design inspiration from the 3d in uh, and 2d and a lot of thing on there a lot of thing on there yeah that's what I mean as you can see that really really beautiful so I believe that most of them using the to make graphic design is using Photoshop so in this tutorial I'm gonna using Photoshop of course because I'm only good at Photoshop nothing more program that I good at so this is what I want to create alright this is the simple basic uh, graphic design they come from the brush tool and pen tool and color correction and just only using the tool from the photoshop to make design like this if you want to make something like my uh, uh, my design they using the combined picture and of course the tool of the from the photoshop as well I'm using so doesn't matter of that so we're gonna use we're gonna make this from this one to this you can download the project file in the link description below all right let's jump to the photoshop all right this is where I become time using the effects from the blending option only from the layer of layer layer and color correction so gonna bring my my picture and then this what you can see this is the normal photographic that people took it for so I've been make it uh, her skin soft like this from using the some oil paint tool and other tool so at the first time <coughs> they're gonna be locked on the layer so you have to unlock it to unlock it you can double click right and then call this beautiful uh, sorry beautiful Alright, that's great. And first thing that I would like to do for this one is color correction. Make it some more brightness on there. So we bring up right, that's great. And then place the green channel down. Make it more sense. great click ok so you can see the after before and after so now go to the exposure and get more a little bit bright and observe some of this so this is great and I'm gonna make some as you can see behind the particle and behind the so we're gonna make it there so to do that we can create a new layer and call this particle alright and you can just create from the pencil like this alright 
Mm, that's fine. And we can right click on it so we can go to fill pad and stroke pad. What is the difference of between these two? Fill pad is uh they're gonna fill the hole while the stroke pad they're gonna fill the only the line. So that's what I mean. So let's see uh, uh let's say I want to use the fill pad to make like this you can just click uh, to change the color you can click this one or color and you can change it for it so I'm just going to this number purple click ok and then click ok so that's great so now we can delete the path now we able to edit it I'm gonna make some uh, duplicate layer I'm gonna duplicate the layer is a lot of time that lot duplicate duplicate layer duplicate all right that's enough first thing that I want to do is uh, edit the shape I don't want to all the same with this one so I'm gonna edit it Okay. If you know how to scale transformation, the shortcut is Control T. I think everyone know that. So you can go to Hold and Control and drag this one to make that uh, like rigging over there. That's a uh, link to the parent right there on the this shape. So or also you want to make perfect scale you can go to hold and save and drag it so you know everyone knows that right so right let's make it small and that's it and this one make it small alright one brings and this one to be here and this one of course right here So now I'm not gonna leave it like this. All the layer is separate. I'm gonna merge them all to the one layer. We call this as the particle. Alright. Then we can move all together. So now we go to edit with the blending option. So right click blending option and get to the bevel 
open the bevel tab and highlight mode is a turn down I mean turn to zero obviously obviously yeah. Whew. so what, what are the things yeah I think I'm gonna use only two options two tab there's outer glow and bevel so I'm gonna use this one make it something like blue some blue color and make it sizes maybe. so that's beautiful make it as zero and make it as 65 that's great and click ok I'm gonna make this I'm gonna delete that one So let's make it something um, like this. So let's wait. Bring the city down. I mean, back to to up. Uh -uh. <laughs> to make <coughs> sorry. Thirty five of thirty. Right, and then. You can go to filter and then door goes in the make it like 15 or 20. Uh, I'm gonna make this 20. Oh, maybe that's too much, so maybe 15 or 13. That's great. Alright, that's what I want. Mm, the other thing is. Uh, making this spline spline splash like that so first thing before we using the pencil I'm gonna change my burst tool this is really too tiny looking tiny but as you can see there's wall that's a bit so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna make the new layer and then call this spline so now I want to change from the circle to this closer. So click it and then change to the 20. That's fine as you can see. That's fine. Or it might be 25. It's more durable. That's right. Right, go to your pen tool and then make it only one like this. and then right click stroke pad go to your simulate preserve that's fine then click ok so now delete that so now as you can see we can just uh, something like this make it more big and then that's fine so now what I would like to do, I want to delete all of them. So de to delete that, we can use like this. We can also using the pen tool, click the layer and using the pen tool to delete that. There is one more trick. Alright, so I think that's not much. up and then we can click a ma mix selection that's fine is one click ok and then delete press delete that's fine then fine now it's deleted so brings back opacity to the 100 and then we can right click to the blending option go to the bevel tools and make like this and make it 
inner glow uh, before is outer glow outer glow mean out and you know is inside so click it like that and then go to change to the green color right now you doesn't see anything right because your size is one if you go crazy something like this still doesn't see that's because something like some to says uh, you have to change to the normal resolve and just play around the thing with it so that's great uh, I would like to see like that that's great so without UX and with UX right that's great so right now as you can see there's one want to make the outer glow also so we have to I'm sorry we have to put it uh, outer glow as well so make it blue that's fine yeah. it's like combining color that's not great so let's try that let's make more sense and make more uh, interesting look like right this one great cool and the other thing is uh, this plane all right what brush tool did they use so with the brush tool like this what brush tool did they use i'm use i mean all right that's simple but first i want to make this one that's other right so let's just create a uh, second spline spline and let's change this one to this one let's try what the different oh man that's not great so let's try this one all right this one great but it's too Great. I think I'm gonna take this one. Small much yeah. as you can see. Okay. What about this one? Let's not see any is and right I think that's for that one so I think I'm gonna take uh, I don't know this just take this one. Oh, crap all right how about this one crap how about this one crap <laughs> this one is great Yes. Might do this one. All right, this one is great. I think I'm gonna s use the same brush, right? Just like that one, and go from the eyelids to the. So there it is. There it is, and make it stroke that to the brush. So now look at, and as you can see. Uh, that's not really the, so we can use that so that's fine so we can go to blending option and turn on the bevel inner glow and outer glow so now make it different so I'm gonna make outer glow is uh, blue something like this and other thing is the inner glow make it something like yellow that's great
Let's great. Make it up so get down. So that's great. That's great. All right. Let's delete again. Using the bring the city down and just delete this one. All right. I think this one because it's not. Uh, it's not straight. So we. Can I use manually to delete that one? So I'm just going to delete this one. That's great. So we can delete that. So oh man, crap! It's really crap. This one. That's great. Let's like stop. Right, yeah. um, that's great. Brings the city up again, and what the other thing that will make uh, right now is a brush. This brush. Uh, let's make a new layer and make it this spline brush. Right, make it change to the. Oh, actually. I have to delete this one first. Right. From our reason that before. And make it like what the rest of that just like this. Right, that's fine. Maybe this one. That's the crazy. So maybe this one. That's this key. Might be this one. Alright, this one. To make the uh, this one right. So we're not gonna just gonna draw like that. I'm gonna use the my pencil then using that. So using my stroke pad and cool. Delete that and then just gonna delete it there. Right, and then make it one more from the that one. So let's make different. So you can do that. So just delete it. So. Let's spin that and make it stroke that and then delete. That's great. And think that we have to take this one and click copy and paste and then so we can delete this one. Just make that spine bus too. And I'm gonna fix this to on it so a little bit this. That's perfect. Alright. That's great. Um let's make it this is first, second. Three. All right. Where's all right? This one. Where's we come to? This one. That's fine. We made it. So. We can get the stroke. Right for the spline brush three. 
come on order I think we're gonna click delete that and then find verse 3 alright there to make the R look at or behind there we have to delete this one and this one to delete that we can use a uh, normal delete for it so we can use manually because doesn't really know about it so uh, there you go Let's look right behind. Right, right and for the in front of it, so we can take this one down and we can. to see that thing so wow what is this oh sorry let's focus on it. so that to work so there you go right. great now we can turn back on our capacity to the 100 day looking great and we can go to this one make it much clearer to do spine brush so enter and let's go to the blending option what we can do with it so bevel turn on always make it this and drop shadows might might be might make it sizes uh, so you can see there have any of the shadows but then make the large and uh, make it close so yeah I think that outer glow is more accurate so make it blue and uh, make it like this <laughs> sorry yeah there you go click OK and then the last thing is this one so making for the red eyes as you guys know how we can make that that's really easy we call this red eyes all right and then just simple gonna make click this like we creating the eyes and then like that fill that and get the color make it red click ok and then delete that then we can go to duplicate and make some more obvious and just merge it together so and you can go to filter door goes in the so make it something like paint basic so there you go 55 is great so there you go you can to make some more you can as well and create a new layer to make this roto pencil pencil and we're gonna use the brush tool with the pencil so let's take it there you go we can just draw like this make it double actually i'm using mouse by the way but you have to be skilled on your own rest, your own project try to using a uh, brush tool with the mouse that's really great more than pen using the pen touch screen that's 
really expensive if you are and you can buy like this yeah just using mouse it's great and let's use this one make it. actually we have to roto pen is make it really really behind of everything except the background I mean the foreground I mean picture sorry All right let's make it so like this, I think that's too. How about this? It's not great. Like this, that's great. Let's make it this one. So let's make it. Do not get too sharp because it's gonna be made look not natural. So using your mouse, let's put natural. This one make it sportive for itself. Oh man, this is the best part. Wow, that's great. Alright, let's make it perfect. Wow, that's perfect. That's the best part that in this tutorial. I guess so. I love this. Even they they are not uh, not really accurate, but that's how the design look like. That's what we can say. That's a design, natural design. That's great. What else? Right, the hair. So you're gonna start being with the hair with this. So I just draw it for itself. Draw your own. Don't make it too. I mean, don't make it too too sharp. Don't make it too sharp, don't make it too, too long. Make it uh, some design tips of it. And where, where you design the bike? So, so there you go. Actually, this is not really rusty, so let's take our just for the the thing that we want to make it for. It's a glow. I forgot to say to you guys, it's a glow body around the body. All right, so let's get started. We using this one and make it look really bright. Just draw, draw everything. Just follow like what they are doing. I mean, what the brush come to. That's great. Um, more, more, more. All right, All right. I think just fine and. To go go some low and make it something like that. So that's the brightness. Right. I think we just hit the final color correction. Let's see. Let's 
goes there. Don't forget every your you want to make photograph you have to use the fibrance. Gonna make most uh, photographic sense. So then put your name. So I guess this is done. Alright. So I think this is yeah it's done. So guys again I have to say thank you for watching my tutorial there's a lot of tutorial will come things in my channel just waiting first so if you wanna make something like this you have to use your, your mind how you can fit it for this is just a uh, inspiration for you how we can make uh, some design sample design so alright guys I think this is the the end of the tutorial uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope you like it so thank you guys for watching thanks again many many thanks for you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe so